Good morning and welcome to Gridbusters. So making great progress on the plant room today. Um, almost got all of the stud work um, up. There's just a few more supports to put in. In fact, we ran out of timber. So Dave and I are going to the local builders merchant, which isn't the cheapest place in the world. It's much cheaper to get stuff from the big box stores uh, like uh, Brick and Marche. But Brick and Marche is quite a long way from our house and the local place is just literally at the end of the road so we're just going to get a few more pieces there we probably need about another six or seven pieces uh, of three meter long uh, pine to finish off in here um, but as you can see uh, what we've done is we've split the um, this large room into two separate areas this area here which is going to be the stairwell so we're going to put uh, we've brought a, br a brand new kit staircase uh, that hole there needs to be extended over a little bit actually um, but we're going to put putting a staircase down here and then this area here which will be a separate room that we've got the uh, got the door there that's going in here um, and then this will be the actual plant room itself so what we're actually doing is we're double insulating on the exterior walls so this uh, wall here is uh, a gable end of the house so we've got the foil insulation and I just had some of this um, fiberglass insulation already in stock so I just thought I might as well use it up. Uh, it's been sitting in the barn for you know six months so we're using the fiberglass insulation on the external walls. So the external walls are this wall here, uh, this wall here and then the wall here with uh, the window. So that is the barn over there and that is where the solar panels are going to go. And we actually have a tube which goes underground from there, comes all the way down here through the doorway, uh, comes along here, and then comes up here. Now I made a couple of errors when installing this uh, tube. I put a couple of 90 degree bends in, which you should never do because it's very difficult to pull cable through. Although we did get this very, very rigid uh, cable through. This is a... Um, a mains cable for the car charger but the idea is all the solar cables will come up through here so what we've because the inverter and charge controllers and everything are going to be over here what I what I've done is installed this MDF shelf behind the stud work so because we're not short on space here we've actually shifted all the walls out slightly so there is a void behind the walls and that will give us enough space for cables or any services that we want to run. So I just need to screw these. Okay, this has been, this is wedged in actually. But yeah, so this, this little shelf here goes all the way along here and then goes all the way along and I'm gonna extend it along here. And there's gonna be a removable piece of wood, another piece of MDF, which will be kind of flush with the plasterboard, which will go all the way around and then obviously it's going to be extended along here as well. You know, since this is actually a plant room, it's really important to have access to uh, lay cables easily. Uh, things don't have to look perfect. It doesn't matter if we can see trunking and access panels and things like that. So wanted to make sure we can easily run cables in the future, which is why I have put that cable run in. And we're doing the same in the corner. So you can see down here, we, we, we had some pipes here which we were gonna box in, but then we thought, well, why don't we just put like <laughs> an angle here? So you can see it's done at an angle and goes all the way up. And we actually, hopefully in the next few months, we're getting EDF in to move the, um, our power. Uh, so we've got the fuse box, the, the, the electricity meter and everything in our living room, which is pretty crap because it's really ugly so <laughs> we're moving all of that in here so EDF need to bring the electricity line and the meter and everything in here so they're going to have to uh, drill a hole I've been told that they will want to drill the hole so we're not going to do any hole drilling they'll do it plus I'm going to be bringing down all of the cables from the fuse box which we're going to extend there's about 25 cables or something which are going to be coming down here and again I think the electricity meter will be somewhere here and the fuse box will be somewhere here. So we kind of still need to have access to this area. So what I'm going to do actually is just put a piece of MDF all the way down um, in this corner, screw that in, paint it white, and then when the electricity board EDF come, we can just unscrew that. They'll have full access to the wall so they can drill their hole. 
when we move the fuse box again I can just pull that panel off and then pull all my cables through, fish them through a hole in the wall where the fuse box is going to go. Also we're extending all the plumbing work down here over to that corner over there. That happens uh, in a few days time on Monday and the hot water heater is going over there so the plumber needs to extend all the pipe work down here and personally I don't like having any plumbing joints behind walls that are not accessible so I'm going to get him to do all of the plumbing joints in that corner where the access panel is and that way if there's ever a problem in the future we've got full access to where all of the joints are. In our guest house when we did the bathrooms there I actually made sure the plumber didn't put any joints behind walls at all so we had full you know pipe runs and then we put manifolds um, in uh, the service cupboard and we had all of the outlets coming from there and that way there are no pipe joints behind walls uh, and hopefully that way we'll never have any problems there anyway so uh, that's where we're up to today one final thing uh, which I'm going to be doing today is what's well, a couple of things I'm going to be doing today so uh, we've got this uh, bracket here for the Victron inverter and we need to there we go so I'm gonna reinforce this section of the wall I haven't quite worked out where it's gonna go um, I'll probably film that today but I'm probably going to put some extra bracing in here because this is really heavy it's like 100 kilos so and I, I want to have provisions for having two inverters because you never know in the future I might expand the system so we're going to put some extra reinforcing in this wall make sure that we've got space for all of the the brackets and everything it all lines up with the stud work which by looking at it I think it does I might just put an extra uh, down piece in here um, and then the charge controller is probably going to go here so just need to make sure we can fit everything in the other thing I'm going to be doing today is the first fix electrics so I'm going to start getting the cabling in for the lighting in here and you know we still need plug sockets and things so I'm going to work out where the plug sockets are going to go and start running some cable okay so that's it for today um, I'll catch you next time